Hey guys, it's Powerfoot. I just wanted to start this video off by asking how you guys are doing today. I'm doing great. I'm having a really good day. Anyways, I decided to start a series of tutorials on how to make a multiplayer avatar chat in Flash with the Smart Fox server. Now, half you guys are probably saying, what the heck is he talking about? Um, well, an avatar chat is just uh, a game or a chat where you have little a uh, characters or avatars, games such as Club Penguin. Uh, Flash, I don't think I have to explain that. Um, most of you have Adobe Flash Player on your computers. Uh, in fact, if you don't have that, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. And, um, Smart Fox server is just, uh, well, I think it's the best server that I've found so far, anyway. Um, that, in simple terms, m in quotes, makes the game multiplayer. Um, that's the simplest description I can give of it. Well, anyway, you're going to need a couple of things. Uh, Flash, what actually creates Flash, you need Adobe Flash. Um, professional. Well, there's the latest version of CS5 right now. I actually own CS4, but you can get a trial version on the internet for free for 30 days. And you're also going to need to download the Smart Fox server, which there's a free license, which does not expire, which is awesome. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to adobe.com. as my computer takes forever to load because the internet has been going very slowly the past couple of days because of all the snow and stuff. Um, somehow it's been affecting everybody's network in the neighborhood. I'm just going to pause this video because it's taking so long. Alright, I'm back. I think it might have just been the uh, my home page. might have been running slowly. Anyway, you want to click once you get to adobe.com, you want to click products, and then you want to click, and you're going to scroll down here, and then you'll see Flash Professional CS5, uh, you want to click that. If you're watching this video um, a couple months or maybe a year down the line, uh, might be CS6 or whatever, um, and you're going to hit try. And then hit try, and I think you, I think it's self-explanatory from there. So once you get that downloaded, you want to go to smartfoxserver.com. And yes, there is a newer version than the version um, I'm going to be showing you how to use. Um, this is the version I recommend, and people that are better and more advanced than me also recommend this version. Um, Smart Fox Server Pro, not the newer 2X. You want to get the Smart Fox Server Pro. So you want to go to Products, Smart Fox Server, Smart Fox Server Pro. And you scroll down, you'll see all sorts of stuff about pricing. That's only if you want uh, larger versions. You want to click Download based on the version of the computer you have. And you click Download. And you'll download it. I always download it on my desktop because I find that that has the least amount of problems. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is once you download your Smart Fox server, you've got something that looks like this. You want to open it up. You'll see a bunch of different folders. And then you'll actually have your Smart Fox server. You want to open up your Smart Fox server when it downloads. And this will probably take a while because. Um, running a screen recorder with a server is not good for the computer which has just been running servers for hours and hours and hours um... yesterday anyways it'll load if you don't get this then there's a problem in fact um... a lot of times if i know on my pc when i installed it to program files it didn't work i had to install it to my desktop um... i don't know if that had anything to do with it that's why I recommend installing it to your desktop. You're going to come down to network cards. You're going to find this number here. It looks something like this. Mine is 192.168.1.102. You want to remember this number or copy it. It doesn't matter. You want to open up in your browser. You want to go to 
192.168.1.1 and this will be your um, router uh, configuration and press OK and then you want to find port range forwarding now uh, it may be different depending on the router you have uh, mine is under applications and gaming then port range forwarding for the application name you want it to be smart fox server SFS the start and ending ports are 9339 the protocol, some will say both, some routers, some will say TCP and UDP. You want to make sure somehow it's conveying that both TCP and UDP. And then this is that number you saw on your server thing, 192.168. For me, it's 1.102. And you want to put that number in. Click enabled, save. I already did that, so I don't have to do it again. Then if you did everything properly, your server should be configured. And um, once you do that, you need to go to back to your SmartFox server folder thing and go to Examples, Action Script 2, and Avatar Chat for Avatar Chat. And I have my own files in here, but I still have the original Avatar Chat. I'm going to open up Avatar Chat.fla in Flash. This is the avatar chat example that um, comes with SmartFox server. And this is how you're going to build your game. You're going to build your game from this avatar chat example. Now, when you have it so multiple people can address, that's why I'm loading the internet. It must take forever. Because, like I said, my home page isn't working right. Uh, IPChicken.com. There's also what is my IP.com and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. This is a video or a website I got off of a video. So you want to copy your IP address. I just have it memorized. And here it's loading. It's gonna need. It's gonna something's gonna pop up in Flash. It's gonna say, yeah. The document avatar chat contains one or more fonts for currently not available on your system unless you happen to have Blaster and Blaster Infinite fonts on your computer, which I don't think anyone does unless you download them. So it should load up and look something like this. I actually have this loadout that um, my friend made for me who messes around with Flash. He doesn't make multiplayer games though, so he doesn't help with penny generation. So you want to come over to this frame here, it'll say connect. You'll have this little frame here, or this layer, it's called a layer that says code. And it'll have a little A that stands for action script. That's all the coding that's done. You'll have, you'll see this appear. You might have to like right click, press actions, or uh, some computers allow you to press F9 or window actions and you want to scroll down until you see var ip colon string equals and then you'll have that var port colon number var zone colon string now if you're using a local server or local hosting I don't know exactly the terminology the exact terminology you wouldn't actually need a server configured properly and this when you have this ip this is the local ip you know, say right here, IP address at the server. If the server is running locally, use that. Locally means it'll work as if it's playing multiplayer, but it's not connected. To other computers or other IPs and other networks cannot connect. It'll be only this computer that'll work. So we're going to change that to your IP address. Mine is 68.80.17.153. So there. And when you go to control, test movie, or command, or control, enter. Oh, wait, my bad. Totally forgot something. You need to go to file, publish settings. This is very important that you do this, otherwise your file won't work. When you hit flash, this is on your publish settings. 
Now say script, action script 2. You want to click settings, click uh, the button that says browse to path, should be in the middle. And you want to go to your smart fox, I'm already in it. You want your smart fox folder, then flash API, just single click action script 2.0 and press choose. Then press OK, press OK again. Now it'll work. And say like connecting. My server's not on. Forgetting lots of things in this tutorial. Um, in this here, the room list doesn't actually mean. I'm gonna give you a heads up for uh, future tutorials. This doesn't. This only means the room as far as the people that are in the... I don't know how to explain this. It refers to... Take a game like Club Penguin. If you're in the town, and then you go to the, the dock, it reads it as different rooms. When you, There'll be a room list that appears when you're testing this movie. And I'll test it now, and I'll show you. That room list only refers to like the people and stuff that are in the room, and not necessarily background since there is no background yet. You have to actually make a room. Now when you do this your um things won't say room one, two, three, four, five, six. I change that in the server configuration, which I'll show you how to do in the future as you begin building your game. Um I'm getting to the point where I have nothing else to say for this tutorial. I'm just rambling towards the end. So I'm gonna stop here and uh continue in the next tutorial.